So today we're going to be looking at how we can copy formulas without changing the cell references within Excel. And we can see here that we have just some plain numbers that we've inserted from 1 to 10. Here we have some formulas. We can see within Excel that we have equals A1 plus A2 and so on and so on as we work our way down. So what we could do at this point is you've probably heard or some people might have heard of absolute references. And what we can do at this point is we can select our formula that we have and we can see that Excel shows us which two is adding up. We can go in between here and we can press the F4 key. And by pressing the F4 key, we can see that it adds in these dollar signs for us, which means that it's actually locked in the A column and it's locked in the cell number one. We can do this within the A2 as well. So we can lock that in and we can press enter. We can see that we get the three at this point, but the problem with this is when we drag this down, that it's gonna give us a three all the way down because it's locked in that cell there that we have. And what we can do at this point is we can get rid of the dollar sign that we have within this and we could keep the column so that we have the ability to move the row. So the row for one and two will move and it will keep the column A. And as we move that down, then we get that there and we can copy this over here and it will give us the exact same numbers because it's keeping the A column but we're moving down the rows. The problem with this though is that when we move over here say for instance then we can see that if we move down we're going to get these zeros at this point here and this is because obviously it's relative at the point of the row number so the 7 and 8 will change and then we can see here it goes to 12 and so on but because there's no information here we just get a zero there at that point. So another way we can look at doing this then is we can select the range that we have. We can go up to the home tab and we can go across here and we can use the find and select. We can go to the replace point here and what we're going to do is replace what. So we want to replace the equals part and we're going to replace it there with the hashtag. And once we've done that, we can replace all. And we can see that that has been replaced there for us and it's replaced the equals. So we can just close this, we can copy it, and then we can paste it wherever we want at this point. And then once we've done this, we can go back into the find and select, we can go to replace, and now we're just gonna change this over, so the hashtag becomes, the, there we go, moved it all over, and now we can just copy that over, close, and we can see that we've managed to keep our references there that we wanted to do, as we just moved it over, so just changed the equal sign over, and now it's still kept the same references for us. Even though we're down in row 15 there, for instance, we can see that this is still calculating A8 plus A9. So what we can do at this point then is if we highlight the rows that we want, we can press the control and the button underneath the escape key that has different lines and quotations and things. And we can see that that'll now show within our Excel sheet all of the formulas that we have. So we can then copy the formulas as they are. And if you just press and go into say something like this that's online, uh, we can see an online notepad and we just copy and paste that. So control and C and control and V. Then we can see that that'll just paste in there. And we're able then just to copy and paste this back into Excel at any point. And we can see that that'll work there for us. We can then press the control and button underneath the escape again and we can see that that'll keep it for us there. And we're able to move this around really easily as we just keep going there. So the reason the reason this works is because it copies the format, whereas if we move this here, say for example, then we can see that that doesn't keep the format because that then thinks that we're moving down. Whereas if you copy it from a notepad, it just takes the references as they are. So we can see that we have the 10 there. But if we look within the same cell here, that's taking it as A14, to A15 and it's just moving it over. So well, that's just a couple of ways there that hopefully these can help you move informers about your worksheets. If you have any questions or if you've got any better ways or anything, then don't forget to share them and we'll hopefully see you again soon.